Okay, so for today, I'm going to be trying to set up a uh, like a, a base uh, timing map for my OBD2 uh, D16 Y7. And uh, right now, I'm currently running a OBD1 P28. So what I really want to do is I want to be able to hook up my scanner that I have laying there. So I can uh, read the data and see what the stock uh, computer does as, as far as timing wise. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this computer and plug in the stock OBD2 and just get some data and see what it says. Alrighty, so I have the OBD1 unhooked. I have the stock OBD2 plugged up and I'm going to start, start it and see what kind of data it's going to show me as far as the uh, factory timing. It is a cold start. Uh, three codes. I'm surprised there's not more than three codes with everything done to this car. All right, uh, going to live data. Sorry for the glare. Can't get rid of it. And we're trying to find a timing, some timing data. Spark advance, 19 degrees. So what I really want to find out is what the timing is once it once it reaches operating temperatures, because that's going to kind of be the uh, the baseline that I start off on my chrome uh, ignition map. So it should be around 12 degrees, if I'm not mistaken, because the OBD ones are roughly 16 degrees. But I could be wrong. Let's let's let it warm up and see what it does. Okay, so the car's had a chance to warm up. And it looks like we have dropped down to 12 degrees at idle here at about 550 RPM. So the, uh, the OBD1s, they actually run more advanced at around 16 degrees. So in this, uh, in this base map here for this Y7, I'm, I think I'm going to take 4 degrees out of the entire map since it seems to run uh, not as advanced as the OBD1 base maps. Alright guys, so we're back inside. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up Chrome and show you what a uh, D16 Z6 base map looks like. And why it's important to actually uh, know the base timing of the of the Y7 or Y8 series versus the OBD1, um, Z6, and uh, other OBD1 variants. But let's go ahead and open up the Z6 base map here. And uh, go to the ignition timing table. Okay, so this is the stock Z6 timing table. And uh, obviously it starts off at 16.5 degrees uh, base timing at idle and that is about four degrees more advanced than the Y7 actually runs and uh, the reason being is that they run different different cam sprockets um, so the, the ignition timing events are different OBD1 to OBD2 uh, OBD2's are four degrees more uh, retarded than the OBD1 versions so I think what I'm going to do here is just highlight the entire map and take out four degrees and uh, just for a starting point. Let's see, minus four and bam. So now we have a uh, base timing of 12.5 and uh, instead of 28, it's like 24 degrees in the up top. Um, and none of this is important unless you actually get your mechanical timing synced up to this 12 degrees here. So for the OBD2, those three notches on the crankshaft um, pulley uh, for the ignition timing. There's one, two, three, and the dead center is 12 degrees. I believe it's like 10, 12, 14. The center notch is 12 degrees. On an OBD1, it's uh, 14, 16, 18. The middle notch being 16. And then there's always that one notch far off to the side, and that's your top dead center. So, all right, so get your mechanical timing synced up to the uh, base map here, to the 12 degrees in your Y7 or Y8, and you should be good to go to tune from there. And from here out, you know, I'll pull timing throughout the boost maps, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.